year is 1970. The counterculture era of the 60s is ending, but many young people are still questioning everything. Rules, authority, responsibilities, many, but not all. Ted Willis, having grown up in North Haven, playing sports at Cheshire Academy and then in college, is returning home to the New Haven area. And he is saying yes. Yes to his bride, Lois, and yes to a young headmaster of foot, Frank Perrine, who's offering him a job, which will be his career for the next 43 years. My first impression was more just kind of intimidated, just kind of intimidation, you know, kind of a short, stocky, built, built guy, you know, with the tight shorts on. And, you know, I think he had the, the shirt as well that was pretty snug. Had, he, to me, was just a bundle of energy. He was energy. Like, he was always moving, he was always doing something, he's walking around, he's fixing nets, he's working on this, and it was just like, and it was, <coughs> if you're going to have a physical education teacher, that's what you want. He'd been named by my brother-in-law, Bob Osborne, was here for quite a while, coaching and teaching, and he gave Mr. Wills the name commissioner, and mm -hmm. he's always, at least by me and many of us, been called the, the commissioner, Commissioner Willis, and he's he's looked out after foot school. And he's just he's got such a good heart that I don't think everyone sees everything he does. Like I don't think they see the hours he puts in here, the amount of work he does here. He's the last one here, I think, every single day. The crew cut. I have to say, the first thing I think of is the crew cut that he had when he first arrived at foot. Now, I know he wasn't in the military, but at the time, when he first arrived here, he looked like he was in the military. I came back years later for reunions and looked at him and saw, Hi, Mr. Willis, your hair, it's grown out. <laughs> but I remember the crew cut. I remember the crew cut and I remember the clipboard. How genuine he is, too. He just, um, he's very straightforward with you, but always supportive. Um, always giving you positive feedback and kind of, he never um, held like the boss title over top of your head, like you need to do it his way. It was always open to collaborate with, with both of us and, and do what was best for the kids. Mr. Willis let you be a kid and let you be silly and sing on the bus and you know, have a lot of fun with your pals but also made you feel like you were a very serious and competitive athlete. My most favorite thing about gym class was going in there and knowing that for that hour or however long it was, I had free reign to do pretty much anything. I returned to whatever class I had next, just sweaty and dirty with my clothes probably torn, somebody else was probably crying, uh, but I always had a really great time and I just have great memories of playing you know, floor hockey or um, capture the flag I think was my favorite. One of, the, one of the qualities that Ted brings is that he's a great role model and I think he's a role model for adults as well as for kids in he has a really positive attitude about life. He is physically fit. Um, he's been that way. I mean it, one of the most fun things to do is just see the way he runs around the campus, um, the way he gets totally involved. And so I think it's his, um, I think his character um, is really one of the most important qualities that he brings to the school. The best part? Oh, I mean, just doing what you love to do. All right, I, I've always played sports. So I love to, you know, uh, you know, that's about it, basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just having fun. And it, it's fun to get paid, you know, to do what you like. You know, you like to play get paid for paying and playing. Those are the things I remember. I mean, a lot of, not, you know, what season was, and we've had our undefeated seasons and stuff. I mean, we, lacrosse two years ago was undefeated. Girls field hockey was undefeated this year. And, uh, but, but still, you know, what, what really impresses me is, you know, how we act on the field and how other people feel about, about us. All of our, whenever we have games against other schools, what impresses me the most is, uh, you know, how hard our kids work, and we push sportsmanship, and it does pay off. 
and we've got a lot of compliments from other schools, coaches, as well as officials, you know, how great our kids are. And they love to come to foot school to referee. And uh, that really, that makes my day right there. I'm amazed at a school, a middle school, how many kids do come back and remember their middle school years. It blows my mind, it really does, how many kids come back. And alumni day, I mean, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, basically, he's one of the most consistent uh, thank people you, you just have ever met. He's always Ted Willis. You know what, you know, there's no surprise once you get to know him. And he's consistent, and for kids that's important, and for in life that's important to, you know, somebody represents who they are authentically, consistently. One thing, if you look at, like I've looked at old yearbooks, he doesn't age. <laughs> like he hasn't at all. And he looks the same. He I mean, looks you would know because you were better. a while ago. But he looks better than 1980. You know, there's just something, you know, magical about the maroon versus gray for such a, you know, kind of a, a peaceful, nurturing school with, you know, more of an emphasis on building a foundation in sportsmanship and teamwork where on that day all that stuff is included, but then there's this fierce rivalry of maroon versus gray, which is Pride. like, yeah, where does this come from? Parent, you know, you come out and you've yeah, got your color on yeah. I'm gray, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and I feel bad for all the maroons, yeah. I really do, but like, <laughs> yeah, they never get to win, you uh, know, yeah. they, 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 they do sort them that way, they yeah. put the athletes in the gray. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite was Foursquare, and, and when Ted Willis came, I think he gets a credit for setting up the four square courts that we had um, on the asphalt. And we, whether it was a gym class or a recess, we lined up to play four square. Very competitive, but really, really fun. And I think Ted Willis gets the credit for that. I think that Mr. Willis is really energetic because in kindergarten he would always play line tag with his foam sword <laughs> <laughs> and be running around while we were screaming. Trying to get away from him. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you wonder whether the kids really remember you or whatever. You know, they didn't do sports or whatever. Whether they ever, you know, knew you were here. But you know, it's something to remember. Thank you, Mr. Willis. I think Mr. Willis is awesome because he's really nice to everyone, and if and he's not afraid to come up to us and tell us if we did something wrong, and then tell us what to do to make it better or correct it and he's just really nice to everybody. Mr. Willis we're here right now I think I would just say thank you for all of the years. You don't I don't think you really realize when you're in the moment, especially for someone like Mr. Willis who's been at foot for forty three years, you don't realize that the kids that you interact with every single day put you up on a pedestal and they keep you in the back of your mind as they move forward. I've played in two Olympic games, I have two Olympic medals, I've played professional sports and I look back on my days at foot and think about them as some of the greatest in my entire athletic career and a lot of that is because of people like Mr. Willis who taught me how to play but more importantly taught me how to be a great sport, taught me how to be a great citizen and taught me how to use those values that you're supposed to learn in sports and bring them into your life I and mean, that's something I'll never forget. It's cute. You almost have to see him with the little kindergartners. He's got that samurai sword that he gets, and he gets them all silly, and they're yeah. jumping over, and he's going around above them, and they're ducking. And it's just, yeah. it's cute to see the little kids with him getting silly. You know, yeah. like he has these certain little things that he does yeah. that the kids love. Thank you for all the fun, but thank you for all the confidence that you that you gave us as well, both as both as athletes and also as kids. Sure. Uh, he's really nice. <laughs> uh, I'm really gonna miss him, even though I'm leaving. But he's the nicest person I know. I'll, I'll miss with the kids. I mean, the kids have made me, kept me young, you know, involved and, and stuff. I'll miss that, and I'll miss, you know, being with the faculty. I mean, it's some great support here. You know, if you have a problem, somewhere right there, can help you out. And uh, but it's just like a, the family. You know, it's pretty cool. Thanks, Mr. Willis. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
The ninth grader is nursing Mary Beth. Worked really hard on creating oh my God. your ride for your 43rd <laughs> and final victory lap on, uh, for field day at foot school. Every single person in the community wants to thank you. Everybody wants to get a piece of you, give you a high five. Right. So hop on in, sir. Thank you so much. Oh my God. This is one I'll never forget. Stay back. We're going to go nice and slow. Nice and slow. Stay back. Okay, stay back.